I like jumper. Thank you. It's kind of like a, it feels like a jumper, but it's kind connected? of a dress, but I'm, I, I feel like I'm in a nice jumper. It's great. Awesome. Uh, well, congratulations on the show and your premiere last night, which you were, all seem to be very, very excited about. Um, I was talking to Mr. Groff Alistair last night, and he was saying he had a strange experience where he wasn't sure, he didn't know kind of the nature of the show in terms of the success and people, you know, watching it all over the world. And he said an 80 year old guy came up to him and was telling him how great the, the yeah. show was. So I was just going to ask everybody what that kind of means to you that not just young people are watching this, but old people all around the world are, are watching it and embracing it for, for what it is. Well, it's it's um it's a very positive thing, I think. And and I it's a it's a credit to Laurie and the writing generally and all the writers actually who create the show. Um, I just think it's just it's truly intergenerational, you know, and it's unlike Alistair. And I had a letter from uh, uh, an older gentleman as well saying that, you know, he thought it was a very important show and that his grandkids were watching it. And you have mums coming up to us in, in shops and restaurants and parents being, you know, young parents. Like, is that guilty pleasure and everything? I think it's cool. I think it's, you know, I think people have, have sort of, um, I think it's been a breath of fresh air for everyone, including us. Um, and a relief that something like this exists because I think it makes us all feel a little bit less lonely. Yeah, for um, sure. So yeah, it's a good thing. And I guess as well, when you made series one, you're all kind of in the bubble. You don't really know at the time. You as actors think it's, you know, you obviously have signed on because you think it's great and whether people are going to think to it. And obviously you're in a bubble. But when you go back for series two, you have all that extra pressure. But I guess that's good pressure in the sense that because people love it, you know that you're giving them something that... That's true. Yeah, I think, but it's, it's pressure is, it's more like a drive. It's like you want to... Um, you know, you want to honour the story and you want to make something good and that's good quality and that's going to grip people because the season, you know, the first season was so good and I feel like we've kind of upped our game this season and, and, and everything's become more deeper and more intricate and more alive and, and I feel like people are going to be really gripped by it. Yeah. Yeah. I loved Maeve uh, because she used one of my favourite words uh, in the first episode, which was dickhead, which is one of yeah, my favourite words. It's the best word. So I use it all the time <laughs> all now. The time. Yeah, that's one thing that's definitely rubbed off on me. Um, <laughs> but I just wondered whether it was that or what you saw in the first couple of scripts that kind of spoke to her, because she's she is kind of a, a much of a driving force in, in the show and yeah. she helps kind of bring it forward. But was there a specific thing about her that, that, that spoke to you as, a, as an actress? I mean, I mean, yeah, the, she, the character kind of speaks for itself. Like, yeah, she's written really, really beautifully. So are they all. Um, Maeve has just that little extra edge, and um, and I just love the way her mind works, and 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 I love her wit, and I love her kind of her deadpan humor, and and her music taste, and and all of that. So all of that was already coming alive visually for me in the script when we when we first got them. So it was it's kind of a it's a delight to bring it all to life. Yeah. yeah, I guess with series two as well, it's always the, my friend always said that it was where you get to explore the mythology of it in terms of obviously a little bit different with this, but with Maeve, obviously there's, you know, her, her family history is kind of coming to the fore with this one. And it's only hinted at in series one, but we get to see a lot of that in series two. That must've been great to play that you had a different dynamic as well as, you know, all the other stuff that was, that was yeah. going on. It, absolutely, it's very enriching. I think that's a word. It's a very, um, it's, it's, yeah, it, it was, like I said, it kind of just got deeper all of a sudden, and everything there was there's a lot more stuff happening, and and it's very I think it's very healthy to have, like with other characters, but it's very healthy to see stuff outside of school as well because a lot of our lives is you know most for most of us we're in school, but a lot of that is also living at home with or without parents, single mums, single dads, you know it's there's a lot of that that is that is a huge sort of fundamental part of growing up and self discovery. So it's good that we get to see more family time especially for Maeve, because obviously it's a delight to play all that and be with Anne-Marie Duff. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you've got a great great cast here. Obviously, Gillian, I can imagine, was a great kind of mentor figure for a lot of you in terms of her, her history and everything else. And you've just taken the next step and gone and worked with Kenneth Branagh and, and at Benning. So I just wonder for you as a young actress how their influence is helping you in your career, because I can imagine it, there's a huge, you know, they've got so much history that yeah. it would be a good thing to work with. Getting, like I'm getting red, my heart's beating fast. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit mad. Like, it's, it's um, I, I look up to the people, all the three people you just mentioned and more, but I, I, I look up to them all and it's, it's, um, it's empowering and, and um, really touching to, to, for people to believe in you and people like Kenneth Branagh or whatever and to work with these people who have these minds, that, that these sharp, brilliant, colourful minds and they've got, they've got this whole circus going on and they just wanna, they want you to be part of their vision. It's so glorious and I just, I love watching people like that work and watching Annette Benning, like just, just the most marvellous woman and she's so 
yeah, just I mean, yeah, the best. So it's it's very surreal, but I'm I'm also a sponge, so I just love watching and observing and soaking everything up like that. So it's a real real delight. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Pleasure to talk to you again. Thanks so Thank much. You so much. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Have a nice day. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.